Hey there, fantasy rock and rollers. We're going to play Final Fantasy VIII. Now, this is like part five or something, and we're still in Balam. Balam Garden. And, um... I think the, you know... Well, you'll see when we get there, but I think some major stuff's going to happen. Some major plot development. And some of it may be tragic, and some of it may be beautiful, but... Oh! It's a Final Fantasy that all creatures of the interwebs... This is Final Fantasy VIII, so... The story of Final Fantasy VIII is... It's the Final Fantasy that they released after, after Final Fantasy VII. Now, Final Fantasy VII probably had, like, a huge, uh, like, it, so, it was a major game, it sold huge, and, like, everybody played it, and so, like, Final Fantasy VIII probably had a huge budget to work with, and huge expectations, and to its credit, like, it didn't fail, it wasn't as good as Final Fantasy VII, in my opinion. Um, although I have met some people online who do prefer the game, it's kind of like the, uh, the difference between Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek DS9. Most people will say, like, hands down, Star Trek, um, They'll say, hands down, Star Trek The Next Generation is the better game. Um, but, you know, like, uh, other people will say, well, Star Trek Deep Space Nine gets into such more complex and varied themes. And like, okay, one thing that is outright obvious, I mean, this is PlayStation 1. The graphics might look so not, not great to you right now, but this was like amazing graphics. That they could create a movable character with arms and legs and it can move around like that. Um, it was simply amazing. Um, and uh, the, of course, the CGI backgrounds, Final Fantasy VII kind of had that also, and it was good at that. Um, uh, but, like, the CGI ba backgrounds, um, they, they, they stand up and they're beautiful, and they look all pixelated, and that's really because I'm working with a screen from 2017, and I'm kind of like, it's, it's a big screen for even me. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm on disability, and through the thanks of my parents, um, I have this big screen TV. Um, uh, I, there's something I'm supposed to be doing with the elevators. Anyways, so, it was just kind of assumed that back in, this was probably at most the year, year 2000, 2002, I, I don't know when this came out, but this is at least 15, maybe 20 years old. Um, and TVs weren't as big, unless you were like Tony Soprano, which is also 15, 20 years old. Um, and even then, it wasn't a flat screen TV most of the time, it was a CRT. Okay, so... Jeez, I'm gonna be penalized for taking out my gun blade? Who is this guy even? This guy isn't in the, even in, in the rest of the movie, uh, TV show. Um, uh, TV, uh, video game. So, what do we have to do here? Oh, 
Oh well, I defeated more enemies than Instructor Trepe, so you know what? Do I, okay, do I go on the console? I don't really see anything. But I have to, uh... I don't know about anything that I'm supposed to be doing here. I'll just read. to be 15 years old. Yeah, the, the target market for this was probably about 15 years old. I was probably about 15 years I was pro actually, I was probably like 16 or 17. This Final Fantasy 9 I played, and Final Fantasy 10 I played, but like, yeah. Um, I started off uh, I started off, um, well actually I started playing Final Fantasy 1 for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System uh, at my friend's house and then my parents bought me a Super Nintendo and I had the Super Nintendo and I got Final Fantasy Mystic Quest which was uh, easy, uh, too easy for me my liking. Um, and uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. Sometimes. I think I'm going to have to fight someone. My goal is to be like my teacher. I wish we did something really good for <sighs> So, okay. So now where do I go? Walk around the edges, okay. I completely forgot that you can walk left and right.
I also played this game called Parasite Eve. Anyway, it's just like I can't do much here. Um, Parasite Eve was good. I might want to buy that. Interested, not interested. <laughs> Are you interested or not interested? <laughs> What's he saying? Yeah. Do, do, do. I think if I remember, um, cafeteria is the least important place um, in the entire game. <laughs> I'm <gonna sneak> away. <laughs> Oh, politics. How, about, how come the teacher has so many groupies? And should you even be calling it a groupie? Doesn't a groupie have a connotation that is not suitable? For younger audiences. See, even today it's still it's a still a beautiful game. Um my parents would always force me to turn off the volume because the music keeps repeating itself. <laughs> um and I, I, I kinda feel that right now, like I wanna turn off the volume. But, uh, may as well, I mean, a most of experience. I've had lots of play. All the students ever, s all they ever have to say is how great instructor Trippe, Trippe, <laughs> Trippe, how great an instructor Trippe, uh, how much she's so good. Oh, moving forward, okay. I'm now in my uniform. 
so I didn't take my seat exam and be a student and everything. Who's my roommate? Oh, it's like that, yeah. Um, Isn't he my roommate? Or maybe not. Cutscene. Oh, look at the amazing graphics. Oh, yeah. I can't even do that. I think most people in their life cannot do that. <laughs> It's like you think back, why did I not learn how to do that? That's pretty awesome. That could have probably won me major points with a lot of people. <laughs> so if you're like 12 and watching this let's play, learn how to do what he just did. Um, so he's basically like Sabin in Final Fantasy 2 or 4. Um, he has these uh, limit breaks. Which I never learned to, I never learned how to uh, memorize. I'm going to do some push-ups after this, I think. <laughs> All this video gaming makes me want to do some push-ups. Like, like I said, if you can do a triple backflip, like, people respect... I think you can even make money just doing triple backflips. Probably odd jobs, but, like, save those words for a bad student. You are a bad student, but I got results. Uh, okay. And those are like his bad guy henchmen. I think this is what the demo on this magazine I bought that came with the demo. the Atlantic.
So the super martial artist is like showing me the gunplay. So like, I don't know. Maybe I was like, show me your computer, tech boy. I may be super at martial arts, but I don't know tech boy things. controller by the way. Like it as a family pie. All rights reserved. Proper on that I need an Ekarat, I think. Back forward, the line back. Oh, this is fairly straightforward. Driving around in my century, out of my For a second there. What does that say? Gun? Oh, gu GDN Garden. And the great thing is, me playing for this long is actually approaching what I would play like in one session as a child. So I was worried about reading books in concentration and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm regaining my stamina, I think. I mean, I slept a lot today. that I'm straight.
I'm not talking to any of you. I'm a deep and brooding individual. How do I get outside? beautiful CGI. This is what they had in the demo. This is how they started it. There was this magazine I was subscribed to. An actual physical paper magazine and it came with a CD with the demo on it. And it was like, are you ready for Final Fantasy VIII after being so blown away by Final Fantasy VII? Be sure to equip my guardian force. Ah, uh, I got it. Function. Function. Guardian force. Effort. Magic. He doesn't have any magic. Alright, function. Function. Guardian force. Effort. Okay. Okay. What do I do? Where do I go? Where am I going? I need some water. <laughs> It's been 30 minutes now that we've been playing, and they're not giving us a safe spot. Oh, there's no safe spot. I can go. <laughs> so, file, save, and I'll create it in the third block. Okay. So that's it. We played, I don't know, we played half an hour. <laughs>